Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, using the DLC No Step Back, in which we, of course, are playing with a certain Nikolai, or Nikolai, Mr. Hero of the Peasantry. We've got quite a few comments to go through, but we're currently doing heavy industry, all the way on the left side of the focus tree. While industrialization projects continue to gain speed, the time is coming to shift towards a bigger emphasis on heavy industry, in preparation for the producing more war material, which sounds like a really good idea. Let's go out of that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do want to get this research slot, but at the same time, it's September 7th, 1938, and we have no army XP. <clears throat> That's not very good, no, is it? No, it's not. So I'm thinking we might want to get some more army XP, or at least go to war with people. Maybe try to get some more army XP in general, just because we have, like, none. Um, we could get a lot more research slots later on, but uh, reverse the collectivization process. Back to the NDP. Uh, incorporate local organizations. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. International revolutionary Marxism sounds like a lot of fun. You get more political power too, and we can join factions. The commentary will be known as International Revolutionary Marxist Clique or Center. Nice. But at the same time, we might want to do some more stuff here. Southern thrust. Well, we do like the thrust. Pressure Afghan government. Preemptive invasion of Iran. Let's do Middle East diplomacy. There are many opportunities to enhance our standing on the Arabian Peninsula in Asia. The great game with the British is about to take another turn. Um, so, some of you guys wanted me to do Reconcile Japan, since I chose this one last time. Um, I think I'll wait to do that one for later, maybe. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. But I think I'll wait to do that one for later. Just because China right now is losing to the Greater East Asian Core Prosperity Sphere, so the Chinese are really stupid this timeline and really wanted to kill themselves off for later. So, uh, in the meantime, Okay, political commissar, popular figurehead, kind of industry, right wing trade unionists. Commissar for Post and Telegraphs. Huh. So I want to get the guys that we don't can't normally get, so we can usually get these guys. So I'll go right wing trade unionists, but do we have any more army people here? I think I want to try to get more army XP at least first, because we really need more army XP really quite badly, so. The Southern Thrust. Let's see. Your southern border is wide flank from which enemies can exploit any weakness. We cannot tolerate this, nor can we wait for peaceful change in the region. Or support Afghan communism. Afghanistan is where proud nations are humbled. A military operation in the country would be costly at best and might not even succeed. Um, we have a few contacts in Afghanistan who wish to establish a government that's ideologically closer, uh, closely, closer aligned to us. We should support this endeavor. Uh, a preemptive invasion of Iran. Any enemy country is considered... Um, ooh. If they accept, they become a puppet of us. 30 days to prepare for the beginning of the uh, counter Operation Countenance and the declaration of war of Iran. Once it's active, we'll have 30 days to capitulate Iran before they attempt to join another faction and population and start worrying about our military capabilities. Once it capitulates, we'll pop the country, integrating a few states in a border and getting a few resource rights in Iranian states rich in oil. Request British intervention to carry out a joint operation. Huh. Well, we got that one done, which is pretty nice. 38, 39, not bad. Get some more extraction, because we can. We're going to get 1.37 political power every single day. Foreign influence, we kind of wait. That's a lot of Chinese. Um, wow. Ooh, support Afghan communism. How strong is F... Well, actually, it was really for Iran. Pressure the Afghan government. Afghanistan is where proud nations are humbled. A military operation in the country would be costly at best and might not even succeed. We have a few contacts in Afghanistan who wish to establish a government that is ideologically closer to line to us. We should support this endeavor. Then again, we could do Southern Thrust too. Hmm. I kind of want to just go to war with them. At the same time, I'm thinking about when I do Trotsky. I think with Trotsky, I might just want to go to war with them. Permanent revolution. Let's support Afghan communism and see what happens. Respect Baltic self-determination. The Kingdom of Lithuania. Claims on the Baltics. Claims on all cores. Oh, and there they go. Okay, so maybe we'll wait for this one. Um, let's do two red flags. This is like the last one. Some of you guys want me to do Gobi Gambit. It's not bad. The Trans Soviet Trans Caspian Railway Expansion. And if they reject us, we still get them. You know what? Maybe we'll wait and save two red flags for Communist China for later. Support the KMT. Well, they're pretty much dead. Well, you know what? Let's do the Gobi Gambit. Let's we'll see what happens. We'll save the two red flags for Trotsky. Well, the conflict between Japan and China is heating up. There's also an opportunity for us to seize the area around the Gobi Desert to give us a say in the future of China and a seat at the table. Uh, we can always invite the Communist Chinese in, but... Do I really want to fight Japan right now? No. They might come for us later, though. Which would be very bad. So, as much as... I don't like that we can't send volunteers to these guys. I really don't like it. Because I wanted to send them volunteers, because trying to break through here is really, really bad. But what if... 
We could send him that, or at least uh, start some unleashed. Do we have any guns ourselves? Do we have any common guns? Oh, 22,000. Yeah, let's try to send some guns. Why not? Uh, let's give you 10,000 once. And we'll give you, like, 300 support equipment. And we have nothing else. Okay, there you go. Here. Have all that stuff. See what you can do with it. Let go be Gambit. Intervention in China, Southern Thrust. I do want to support Af Afghanistan communism. I think it'd be fun. Oh, they broke through. Well, they're done. God dang it. This is a weird timeline. So if they have no one else to take out, do they just focus on us or do they focus on, like, the Alice? I wish they were really going. We need to keep working on one of these millies, too. Uh, I they agreed to a proposal. The Sinkyon Consul stationed in uh, Semi Palatinsk has contacted our diplomats to communicate that Sinkyon government was willingly joining the Soviet initiative to expand the Trans Caspian Line, communicating Urumuki with it. He also said that the provincial government of Sinkyon is open to developing new economic and diplomatic relations with their country. The doors are open to a new economic market. Nice. Prepare for war with Japan, that'd be probably good to do, but um, Baltic security would probably be good as well. Uh, I do want to do this one though. Yeah. Collective security, stuff like that. NKVD primacy. Well, I'll come into some pop would not be bad either. There's just so much I want to do here. Incorporate these guys. Mm. Yeah, I want to support the communism here, but uh, I'm going to do other stuff too. Propaganda campaign requires having completed expand the agripop. It's not bad. I get political power. Development aid for Eastern allies. Oh, does that include Sin Kyong? No, it's just those two. Okay. Well, let's do Baltic security. The fate of the countries around the Baltic Sea is closely linked with ours. We're going to allow hostile government at our borders. Pretty much. Oh, they pursue interventionist policies. Nice. Well, we're doing the best we can. Oh, and you guys are over here too, huh? Oh, yeah, just kind of hanging out, huh? Bad supply. Well, what do you expect? Does that help at all? From 20% down to yes. Yes, it does. It does not help. Okay. okay. Yeah, don't say Mongolia. That's not good. I don't want to give them 100 political power. We get more war support. We get 15%. You know what? It's only political power. I don't see what, what, what's going on down here. Maybe it's a good risk. Maybe it's not. Hmm. 39 is going to jump up occasionally, occasionally, occasionally. Of course, it's almost 39 for ourselves as well, so let's get some railway guns. We're going to get better trains. Yes, yes. Armor trains. Nice. Please hold out for as long as you possibly can, guys. Just don't attack. Oh, God. For the love of God, do not attack. Please do not attack. <clears throat> Respect Baltic self-determination. Pressure them. Claims on Poland. Huh. Intervention in China. Oh, well, look at that. Every single Chinese state will become a core of Xinjiang. Support Afghan communism? Yeah, we might as well try that one out, too. Kind of want to see what the world's gonna, how the world's going to burn. And we can also restart the NEP, but I want to wait. Let's do infrastructure effort, because I do want to get that extra research slot. The Soviet Union is vast, but mostly empty. We must ensure the ability to transport goods and equipment across the width of the country quickly. Oh, don't, don't lose more territory. Guys, guys, please. Okay, got it back, not bad. We're 45, that's not bad. Not great. Could be better. I just take, hope they take forever to kill each other off. Um, I might not get Rokosovsky, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I do want to get some more tanks, but we just need more research. Mengeku issues diplomatic protests. Uh, Minjiang envoys have allowed a dip strong diplomatic protest with the government. Regarding the presence of our attaches in nations they are currently in, in a military conflict with, they demand the immediate recall of our military mission. Well, they can go suck themselves. A reasonable request. Why do we lose political power? If anything, they should lose political power. No. Screw them. Screw those guys. The Soviet Union does what the Soviet Union does, especially after we had a almost civil war here, so. Screw those people. India? Oh, Indian comes asked for support. Subhas Chandra Bose, leader of the All India Four Bloc, has come to Moscow to ask for our help in a struggle for Indian freedom. And booking the traditional conflict between Russia and Britain in India, going back to the days of the Great Game, he believes that we are a natural choice to help the Indians achieve their independence from Britain. What an absurd notion. Finish a five-year plan. Not bad. The second five-year plan prioritizes the development of heavy industry. The Soviet Union must develop quickly in order to match the capitalist and fascist powers of the West. Pretty much, man. 
At least this is definitely one way we can get stuff. Promote ideological rallies or ideology rallies in Afghanistan. Uh, Soviet agents will carry out political rallies throughout Afghanistan to promote communism among the Afghan masses. Nice. Pressure the government. Pressure the government to adopt more policies that more in line with their interests. Oh. We should probably increase uh, relations so that we can pressure them more. Nice. Oh, they do have quite a bit of communism already, which is kind of nice, actually. Just don't lose China. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. I just want to suck on your army XP. That's why. That's the only reason why we're here in China. <laughs> Proposed mineral prospection. Uh, Soviet officials have de developed an interest in the gold and rare minerals mined at Altai, Xinjiang. In order to access Xinjiang's market, we propose to look at new deposits and improve the infrastructure in Yarkand, a region rich in minerals but with very archaic means of exploitation by our neighbors. If they accept, great. If they refuse, that's not good. When removed, oh, please accept. This is this is not bad stuff. They agree. A Soviet representative in Dihua has been notified by Xinjiang diplomats that they have accepted our proposal to prospect for resources in Yarkand and approve the region's infrastructure in order to facilitate exploitation. In exchange, Xinjiang's trading entities will be repaid in commodity exports such as gold and rare minerals from Altai. Nice. One, two, three, four. Okay, so with this many... Uh, it's already March 1939. we got to go at least two on um, millies. Two on millies at all times. Finish the five-year plan would be good, 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 good. And the third five-year plan. Ooh, that's not bad for rails. I went this way once. I want to go and try foreign experts, maybe. Yeah, so we're going to read this one again. Please go ahead. We'll do foreign experts. There are many foreign experts who could teach us a lot about how to improve our economy. Thankfully, many of them are capitalists and can therefore be bought. Does it make a lot of sense to go that way? No, but I haven't done that route yet, so. Just keep getting that army XP. The red army sucks, too. Oh, my goodness. Factionalism, which kind of sucks, which we should probably remove eventually at some point, right? Ooh, we lose organization. Experience soldiers losses. Conscription loss cost goes down. He lost army speaking, which sucks. Uh, Soviet Air Force is really bad, too. Curtailment of collective farms. Anti-Soviet military thinking banned. Hopefully that gets removed eventually. Conscription 2 is somewhere output as well. Honestly, we're not doing too bad on everything here. We need more artillery and light tanks. It's pretty normal, though. Artillery. Light tanks. Go 2. Go to 3 there. And we're still building up some more. Yes, it's nice. Let's see. 60 is... Oh, 80 is really good, too. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, they lost some more tiles. Oh, God. Just please. Please. Was it worth 100 political power? We'll see by the end of this, but... Oh, Xing Shi, Shi Kai, please, for support. Uh, a delegation from Sheng Shikai has arrived in Moscow to sound us out about possible support in an internal part of the struggle. They claim that Mao Zedong is not sufficiently committed to the cause of communism and may in fact harbor reactionary thoughts and betray the revolution in its most critical phase. Shen Shikai instead proposes that we back him, promising eternal and undying loyalty to the communist cause in general and Nikolai Bukharin in particular. The leader of the communist China they refuse. That's fine, they're gonna die anyways, but okay. Pressure the Afghan government, yeah. We get like no political power now. By no political power, I mean. Oh! Oh! Oh, does that mean the war is just gonna continue on? Oh, did he actually win? Hey, Shane, good job! Oh, you're just fine against him anyways. Oh boy. Um. This Soviet Republic. Oh, that's not good. Can I send you volunteers, actually, now? Oh, good. So we can send them four. That's not bad, actually. I don't want to send um, anything too major. Let's get some... Uh, actually, sending horses would not be a bad idea, because it's just so god-awful there. But they're only eight combat width. I'd rather send mountaineers. There you go. Do we have any, anybody like a desert fox or anything? Uh, Winter specialist, Cal by Stalin. Removed out of the focus lessons of war. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's go on an attack. Anyone else here is special? Chewy Cup, there you go. Just please don't send them to the wrong area. For the love of God, please do not send them to uh <laughs> this part of communist China. Please, 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 please. I already finished a five year plan. Yeah. Foreign experts. We can buy them. It's fine. Just hold out, baby boys, hold out. <laughs> that sucks. You knew this was, was the wrong idea, but oh well. Hey, you made it. Good job, guys. Let's go to the front line and hold out for your butts. And if anything, uh, with the little bit, limited army XP that we have right now, do logistics and actually remove you. Just go down like a 24 combo with it. I don't know. It helps supply a little bit, so. Do we have anti air? Yeah, we do. Get some anti air. And. 
Pokemon's good. Get some recon. There you go. Bench a five year plan, not bad. Born experts. We can just buy people. Do we need any more resources except rubber? It's just rubber, huh? Nice. Keep expanding. We got plenty of guns for now. Artillery's looking not too bad. We want to get a lot of planes. Don't worry about attacking. Do not worry about attacking. Do not worry about attacking. Just hold the line, babies. That's all I want you to do. Just hold, hold, hold. Supply is so bad here, though. Oh, my goodness. You're actually suffering from attrition now. Uh, let's take a look at the supply map mode. If anything, you guys come down here. Is it any better? Oh, it is. Oh, it's much better. Nice. F4 is supply. Oh, also, you want to make sure that you do this as well. That's nice. Put you under a field marshal, who's not great. Okay, then. Let's promote someone else. Corral. Hey, Corral. Honestly, I'm going to wait to do offensive stuff. Oh! Mexico's going to war. Or, America's going to war. Wow. You better hold out, boy. Actually, do anything here. Um, I'm going to level this up. More attack. Mm, commanders and advisor cost goes quite down. That's not bad. But we already have a lot of advisors. Planning and logistics is not bad. New officer to begin with stuff. XP trade. We'll get that one anyways eventually. So let's go with... I want more attack. We want bold attack, right? But what about this one? Professional officer score. We get more daily army XP. That's pretty nice. Land doctrine cost is pretty good too. Proper heritage. Even though I did choose this, choose this one last time I played this. So I don't want, I don't want to do that one again. Ideological loyalty. We don't really need more manpower. Well, eventually we will. Though. Bane of strength. Uh, infantry experience gained from combat. Quick improvisation. Uh... Ability cost, not bad. Elevated Engineering Corps. Railway Gun Bombardment. Engineer Company Unit Design Cost. We don't have too many engineers, though. Hmm. I want Infantry Experience. Let's go Bayonet Strength. Why not? Screw it. Let's go that way. Was that what Smart doing right now? Probably not, but whatever. It's fine. Foreign Experts. Now let's come back over here. Now we got to do a lot more stuff here, but... Um, we'll talk about this one in a little bit. Uh, expand the Agro Pop. Political Power would be nice. Oh! Eastern neighbor is a great red menace. Oh, that's not good. Dominion County seeks immediate, immediate repatriation. Well, since we went this way, support communism here. I kind of want to respect their self-determination. So we kind of do the same thing with those guys over there. Every people should be allowed to decide their own affairs in a democratic way, of course. And many of their bourgeois democracies in the West, this process is immediately perverted by large amounts of money. We'll ensure that the workers of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania have a fair representation in the governments. So if that's the case, we're going to go ahead and do this. Oh, we don't have any engineers. We're going to go with a lot of people. A lot of people. Uh, actually, get closer. And if that's the case, we're going to need some more military factors, first of all. And 60% there, because the Germans are going to come knocking at our door eventually. Ah, railway guns. We have armored trains. We're still working on railway guns, though. Let's begin against the Soviet Union. Recent German rhetoric aimed at us has become increasingly hateful and harmful to our reputation across Europe. Uh, slanderous accusations of our supposed aggression are beginning to cause fear and misunderstanding to our, of our attentions. Huge military exercises to intimidate them all. Not bad, I like that. Salvage our reputation and smooth relations. Hmm. Do they really care what we th they think of us? Not bad. We know that arm makes be. And extra political power is very nice too. Uh, anything down there? Nope. Foreign influence, don't care. Alright, so not bad overall. Political advisors, let's see. Right away, we get more factory output, which is really nice. More political power. Let's go over you just because we can. And that's large scale exercises. Oh, you betcha. Oh, Chet, you betcha. And actually, you guys are NKVD. Uh, just on logistics. I, I hate supply issues so much. Do that. Engineers, we're not going to have any equipment anyway, so don't do that yet. <laughs> Didn't do that one yet. But hey, this is nice getting army XP here. I wish we had planes. Can we build anything in here? Darn, we can't. Oh, we actually lost. That sucks. Bro, that sucks. Oh, they immediately start attacking us again. That sucks. Japan got lucky. We might actually end up fighting Japan in a two-front war. Oh, wait. Estonia? You're not in a faction? I thought you were a puppet. That's Latvia. Oh, Estonia. Would it be worthwhile? Great Red Menace. Anti-German military, it's nice. Daily communist support, okay, yeah. We can do that, yeah, why not? We love Estonia here. You, me, and Estonia, we love the Baltics. We're, we are Baltic brothers. Some might say. Better guns. We'll just have to see how, how much the world's gonna burn here. 
Chukov, you're actually learning how to become a desert fox, a mountaineer, a hills fighter, all that good stuff. They are suffering from a lot of attrition, which is awesome to see. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Are you actually attacking here? Can you actually win there? You might be able to, maybe. Maybe not, but maybe. You're fighting in the desert, though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, just hold. Oh! Poland's having a civil war! Yay! Claims on Poland. Secure Leningrad. Ooh. By the way, we already sent volunteers. I don't want to hurt that until later, maybe. So let's keep going with the whole uh, thing here. Develop the Urals. Develop Eastern Development. Let's do this one. The area of the Far East beyond the Ural Mountains offers vast, untapped resources and wide areas for industrial development. We must ensure that they are prepared to, pro to power bigger projects. Not bad. Need more empty air. Need quite a bit more support equipment, too, probably. Yeah. Are we out of guns? No, we're not. 15's fine. Cass is fine. Just any more millies. Oh! Wow, the Kingdom of Poland is. You're a puppet! Of Livonia! Oh my goodness! Holy crap! They actually did die. Wow. Go figure. You guys are over there, which is fine. He's gonna do that too. Mm. That is some funky stuff. Let's come back over here and do this. How about you guys surround Finland? You can't trust Finns. You just can't. Finns are special people, but you can't trust them. Boris, thank you. Alright, promote rallies in Estonia? Yeah. Pretty much. Promote ideology. Can we get them in our alliance, actually? If we promote them hard enough, will that will they pop up, up down here, too? That'd be kind of cool. How is uh, Afghanistan looking? Oh, they're in our faction already. Oh. Does this leave eventually? Oh, it does. 41. Central European Alliance. Alright, Eastern Development. The mix. Okay. Um, develop the Urals. The biggest threat against our nation will probably come from a nation in Europe. By developing the areas beyond the Ural Mountains, we will create a reserve of industrial capacity that even the longest range bombers will find difficult to reach. Well, America's going to fight Japan now. Let's create the Central European Alliance. Continue to embark on their Stalandros campaign against us. The Germans have now announced the creation of a new alliance. There's little doubt that it is aimed at us and that they mean to interfere with our sphere of influence. Better say our, our sphere of influence. Oh. We must not give any f excuse for the escalate. Oh, we're going to escalate. The USSR Academy of Sciences. To remain competitive in the fields of applied sciences, we must be also be able on the forefront of theoretical sciences. We already have a well-established Academy of Sciences. But with some additional funding, it will provide us with a truly world-class research infrastructure. Yes. Yes. Oh, direct demand tribute from Communist China. Direct rule from Moscow. Oh, that sounds like fun. I like that idea. Uh, let's get some more stability first, though. It's going to hurt us here just a little bit, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, 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 fine. Extraction, yes. And we get some artillery, too. If we can make you guys all communists, that'd be awesome. You like your communism? Oh, slowly going up. And you're very communist. Season means of production, nice. Secure the national... No, council. The era of silence. Uh, support independent militaries. Squash your opposition. You guys supposed to go... Hmm, as soon as he's going... They're on a border. No surrender. Okay, beyond the Baltic. Well, you're already in a faction, so you can't go that way. And it's not in a faction, so you can't go these two. Corporate chambers, okay. R visit the economic policy. That's not bad. Squash the opposition. No, no. So I think we've got them under us. Too bad they didn't go with the uh, Restore the Workers' Republic, but hey, that's fine with us. I'm totally okay with that. Vast Machine Tools is nice. Cool. Bukharin, Bukharin, Bukharin. Oh, what a dude. Not you. I'll do it. Go over there. There you go. Go over there. And also, since you're here, make sure you get motorized, son. You gotta get motorized. Um, What's up next? Artillery. And honestly, we probably need to do a little bit of rail stuff here, just because it's probably really bad. Especially up here. Oh, my goodness. Level 5. Go and start that one. That's fine. April 7th. It's good. It takes a long time for this whole rail stuff to get done. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. But let's go do something else next, such as expand the Agripop. Dirge millions of the workers throughout our union. We must speak their language. We must make our arguments simple and easily understandable, so that they remain in memory of the common citizen. We should further expand our efforts in this area. Other comments include, it would have been nice to achieve democracy with a party, or within the party, to avoid violence under Bukharin as much as possible, and allow more representation. Yeah, that'd be nice. But yeah, and someone also asked, how do we do the last episode? Like, how do we get the Bloodless Clue? Well, basically, you gotta rush down towards a focus that gives you the ability to coup him, and, and 
like expand or ally the NKVD. Those are like the focuses you only need, so you can do the coup and then just save your PP. The biggest thing is probably to save your political power. It's probably the biggest thing, at least from me. So, not bad. Tanks are fine. Um, support equipment's looking really bad actually, but I want more fighters. We need more fighters. Oh, wait, do you, wait. How many Mexicos do we have? We have two Mexicos, and one of them. Are they both fighting America? No? One of them is kind of like neutral against America, so. Nice. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Crops is a piece. Oh, uh, they joined the Central European Alliance, which is fine. Austria joins. Oh, they don't. Anschluss, though. So they still have to fight. They might have to fight the Czech on time. If that's the case, this is not bad. Especially if they get the Kingdom of Poland, but we're trying to work on Poland, too. We'll see. We have a, two thirds of the Baltic Zoners, too, so. Very nice. People's front, huh? Uh, which one can we do here? Naval stuff. Um, ship destroyer. I want to do something I haven't chosen yet. Naval experience game. Naval fitment, repair ship speed. Research modules are pretty nice. Research speed for those guys. Heavy ship design. You know what? I'll go with global presence. Why not? We'll try that one. Chief of the Air Force Command. Oh, land auction. Yeah, I don't want to keep mass assault. I do not want mass assault. Um, honestly... I've been I've been looking at the Reddit a whole bunch of the time this recording, and a lot of people are saying that Grand Battle Plan is actually pretty not bad. And I've actually been a big fan of Grand Battle Plan for a while now. I've been using it much more in my uh, campaigns. I think it has good potential. Oh, oh, Bayonet Strength is gone. With tip of the spear. Well, we talk about tips here. Oh, this is different. Oh, okay. So the spirit of the army changes. My bad. That's completely awful. I didn't know that. The thing changes here sometimes, depending on you know, their uh, land auction. Oh, they still join. Oh, cool. We have a bigger fight on our hands. Then, my bad. This one kind of sucks in for us. We get more naval invasion capacity. Better naval invade people then. Quick improvisation. Well, if that's the case. I probably should have gone with someone else, but whatever. Hey, you know what? Polish with the winning Commonwealth of rebirth. Well, let's see how much communism they have under us. Or, or, under them. Wait. Yeah. Uh, that ear would be very nice to grab to you. You guys do this. Go on the front lines. Um, I don't want to change NKVD's structure yet, but let's see. Claims on Poland's done. Poland holds territories that have been Russia for centuries, splitting Ukraine and Belarus between our nations. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. They may have busted us in 1921, but that we should remind them that times have changed. Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Here we go. Well, God dang, we wanted you to be communist. Well... Sorry, China. But they declare war on our, on our, on our ally. Actually, let's take a look here. Hold on. So, Minsk has some so, uh, supply base up there. Um, it's probably best to come up here with you guys. How dare you fight our ally? How dare you? Oh, we have, like, no plan. Oh, god dang it. This sucks. Um, go one. You know it would be nice? If I could just, like, say, okay, we deploy 400 some of planes, just spread them out across an entire uh, army group. I think that'd be really nice. A nice little quality of life change, which I'm sure Paradox is thinking about changing up the whole uh, air wing situation here. That's the case. Oh, wow. We made a lot of uh, subbies, huh? Subbies and chubbies. Oh, if you don't got a chubby, we don't want your subby. There you go. Go home. In a few days, and we will we will come in. Is this how World War One starts? World War Two starts. Three. Oh, PPS issues, nice. It is thirty nine, of course. Let's grab some research speed. Thank you. And we have plenty enough guns for this anyway, so I'm not too concerned about equipment, except for support equipment. But still. And before we do that, let's take a quick look over here, and we're still doing okay-ish. Oh, they're forcing the attack. Oh, that's not a bad. That's not a good idea. Promises of peace. Pressure of the government. Oh well. That would have been nice, but whatever. Cool, so we'll get war. I do want to get this guy, but we'll see. Anything else over here? Railway trading unions, more factory output. It's very nice. Actually, we do anything over here. What's your speed? What's your speed? Ooh! We did complete foreign experts. That's not bad either. I like that a lot. That gives you a lot of bonuses. Soviet railways, big railway network. That's not bad either. Hmm. Of course, then we have land auction too, we want to think about. Mass assault. Military theorist, Boris Shashnikov. We can't do that immediately. 
We're building stuff up immediately anyways. Oh, I'll go this one. Yeah, let's go in. So let's go in and see what happens. Maybe I should have saved the game before I did this one, but whatever. Who cares? We'll see what happens against the polls. We should do okay. I and mean, this is technically a defense wall. Can we just go in? Better artillery is nice, too. It's almost 1940. Better planes. Hmm. War bonds would be quite alright with me. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. There we go. Let's see what happens. We lose a couple guys here and there. You know, whatever. I mean, Poland's not extremely strong either, so... Good. Keep them all on the line. How much manpower do they have? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, quite a few divisions. At least we got a first stage of conflict here, too. They have no supply fulfillment. Nice. They have a no truck. They have a couple trains. Not bad. And superiority wise, we are doing quite well. So, apologies to Communist China. We'll come back and strike the Japanese eventually, too. Sandy Slow. Oh, boy. We need that. Isn't that a supply hub? I think that is a supply. Oh, oh, oh get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, come on, man. Come on, big boys. Three of them, not bad, not bad. We're doing, I think, relatively okay overall. 27,000, that's not bad. 48,000, 50,000, not bad. Just give us, oh, well, no wonder you guys aren't doing anything. Uh, Vilnius is the capital. Oh, that sucks for you guys. But that's okay with us. Oh, we'll be right on that German border, though. That's not good. You guys are cavalry, which is okay-ish. You guys go over there, go to the far east. I don't trust the Japanese, so... And no one should trust the Japanese in this timeline. Mm, Konev, Maxim, there you go. Really, if anything... Oh, we need more roads here. Uh, not good. But I'm glad we're at war. I'm glad we're at war. We need way more army XP. And this will set us up for... Uh... Oh, look at that settlement. Uh, war with the Germans. Because they, they want to kill us off, apparently. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with positive heroism or collectivist propaganda. And overall, there's more support for positive heroism for this campaign. While all accomplishes, accomplishments by members of the working class are shared by all members of the working class, we can still point to individuals as examples that others should emulate. Nice. Oh, we have the agripop down too, right? Nice, here we go. Gosh, high yield's pretty good. More metal means more weapons, not bad. More oil for the motherland, which we don't need to worry about. Transport is the sibling of the Red Army, which is very true. Hit every, every hit of a hammer hits the enemy. Uh, more output. Yeah, let's grab that one. Denmark join, Norway join, Sweden join. It's fine. 50,000 versus 90,000. Not as good as it was, was once. But, at the same time, can they really hold out against us? We got a lot of guns. Oh, we got... Oh, that's nice. That's actually really smart to get that one. How many upgrades yet? No. Done. Oh, they're doing force defense. They don't want to do force defense. We'll do force attack. You gotta be pretty costly for us and them as well, but still. 90,000. Yeah, we're losing quite a few guys here. Hmm. The southern front should do better than this, but whatever. Go and hold. I want everyone to hold. Fall of Manila. Oh boy. Why don't you guys go like here? Yeah, we lost a lot. Way too many guys for that. Guatemala, Mexican Junta. Oh boy. Nice. Get the tanks up there first. These guys these guys are the ones who want a war with us, so. Oh, they're out of manpower. So any damage you do, they can't replace. That's pretty nice. Give them a couple more seconds and just go here. I mean, obviously, our army's not very good, but whatever. There we go. Oh, do you actually have something here? Um, come on, more attack. We do ambush though. You'd be really strong on defense, then. You'd be very strong. Force the attack. Go in. Uh, and you guys go right there. Excavation 3 is nice. Happy 1940, everybody. Get some more artillery. Thank you, thank you. These things aren't that great, but whatever. Help them out, help them out. Take the railway, cut the, literally cut off the capital from the rail. Not bad. Not too bad, not too bad. 
Konstantin Rokosovsky. Rokosovsky. Come on. Go all the way in. You got it. There you go. And everyone else, probably, we probably do a general attack because they will be starving for supplies. Yeah, they're already starving. Actually, how much more supply do they have? They're probably getting uh, lendings from other people, though. Oh, they wanted to break out? Oh, boy. What a shame. Anti-air is not bad. Get some better anti-air as well. Even more of you guys. Nice. Head on over there. Supply for them is pretty bad. They're losing... They should be losing more supply than this right now. How are we losing? Of course, it is It is March. It's pretty cold. They do have a few planes here and there. Hmm. Mexican Republic. Doing another general attack would probably be a bad idea. But we can try it anyways. Just for funsies. See what it's like. Uh, sure, Germany. Come on through our borders. So you guys have been cut off. Oh, actually, if that's the case. I told you guys to stop doing this, so why'd you disobey me? Enemy agent turn. house, nice. Czechoslovakian architecture. Oh, so we got that area. That's not bad. Um, they should have, like, no manpower left after this, probably. We'll take the railway. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst ways I've, I've tried to capitulate an enemy before. Huh. But they're out of manpower, so... Oh, India declared one of the Raj. Netherlands joins them. I revive the Stock Novite movement. War heroes, not bad. The more organization is nice. And Patriotic of all of Russia is Komosol. I like this one. You get more Patriotic Communism, too. And I did ask you guys yesterday as well. We should do policy of collective security or individual security. And overall, you guys recommended that we choose... Collective security. So, while they are capitalist and often reactionary, the democratic governments across Europe know that the fascists consider them weak and degenerate. If war comes, they would be the first to fall before the full fear of fascism is turned against the home of the revolution. Those politicians far-sighted enough to recognize this should know that they will find sympathetic ear in Moscow, even though it doesn't make as much sense. It probably might be better to do, but whatever. Yeah, we're not going to go ally the fascists this time. No, 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 no. Been wounded? Oh, hello. Wait, what happened? I thought they joined the Entente. Did you guys? Would you guys do here? Anything? Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, they joined the Allies. Come. Oh no 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 no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm not fighting. You joined the Allies. Are you kidding me, bro? That's so stupid. That's so dumb. France joined Czechoslovakia. Yep. At least it sets it up. See what happens. Cut them off if you can. I know you'll get in circle, but still. Third five-year plan disrupted. The current attack on the motherland is clear that our previous plans for economic growth are no longer feasible. We may return to them once the peace has been restored, but for now we must focus on military production. Uh, sure. Wait, Iberian Union. Na wait, what? Wait, wait, what? National Spain. Iberian Social... Hmm. Well, we better win here. That's so dumb. Why do we have to fight these guys? That's so stupid. I don't like that. Cast, yes, please. And over here. It is what it is. So the Allies have declared war upon us. Because you guys declared war on the Latvians. So we are in defense of war. The Allies are aggressors here. Go figure. Um, military theorists, mass assault. Uh, we want, oh, we got Boris. Let's go with Boris immediately. Now, should be able to afford the next level of tech. Or land auction stuff, right? 110. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Anything here? Panzer Esprit, yeah. A little bit of a grind, but that's okay. Stupid Polish states. Come on. You go to war with us, and then demand, Oh, help us out! Help us out! He goes forward. Hmm, it's not bad. I'll yield. Motherland calls. Weekly manpower is not bad. You know, we could probably use it. Weekly manpower. Yeah, but anyways. Bring German experts. Oh, that's not bad. War propaganda. Oh, these guys have been completely cut off. That's awesome. I want to move. The Allies do not like Bukharin. And it shows. It shows a lot. Krakow? Yeah. 300,000. Not bad. How are we supposed to get to the UK? Oh, we broke over the river. That's really nice, too. Uh, 
Um, honestly, at this point, it's probably a really bad idea, but we're gonna do this too. We're gonna need to cover all of our areas here. And I'll, I'll, we'll edit these divisions as time goes on, but we just don't have enough army speed for that. And our land auction. You guys are suffering from supply issues, which, I mean, I kind of figured you would anyway, so. Yeah, just cover all our bases for now. We'll probably edit these divisions. Actually, I might just make them the NKVD units. Help you just guard everything. Uh, who's really bad on doing stuff? You seem pretty good. Millennial, Minolovsky? Oh, we need more manpower, too. Oh, crap. No, let's go like there or something. Uh, let's get down on it for now. Yeah, let's do that for now. It's fine. And what am I thinking of? Thinking of? Thinking of? Thinking of? Thinking of? Thinking of? Think, think, think. And we won't have air speed because they will be seeing their allied planes over here, too, so. That sucks. That's so dumb. But it is ahistorical. What do you expect? Well, now it's going down this way doesn't make too much sense, does it? For the allies, huh? Mutual assistance with the French. Yeah, we'll, we'll still go down this way. Let's see what happens. Stupid poles. Do they get any attack or bo defense bonuses on their homeland? Aggregarian society? No, no. Competent military. War support. They... How do they get 100% war support when they're the aggressors? Come on, guys. No, they don't get anything special, so our guys just suck. Royal tension. Royal power, huh? This is dumb. How can you not kill these guys off? There's literally like 20 divisions here. Collective security's not bad. And anti fascist policies? There can be no peaceful existence between with us with the fascists. We should reach out to any allies we can find, prepare for the inevitable confrontation. Pretty much, man. You're gonna force the attack. Crush the poles. Uh, if you guys want to actually go to Gdansk and Gdania. Good. Oh, let's go here. If anything, you guys should go right here immediately. And cut off Warsaw. So bad. Oh, you want to become an advisor? Sure, there you go. Anything there? Anything over here? Uh, go Ambusher, just because they're really good in defense. Attack, not so much. If you want to do that too, it's fine, whatever, I don't care. Oh, the Field Marshal, do you have anything for us? Offensive? Go offensive. Philippines are gone. Goodbye, Philippines. It's fine, I don't really care. Um, go Ambusher. I like a lot of ambushing. Alright, so that's the case. Let's get better planes, maybe. Because we're going to think about invading the UK at some point, too. So you guys are great. Um, I, the Raj is doing too well. Oh, we got to think about this side, side too. Oh, the supply is so bad down here, though. Ooh, not good. I'll supply up here, though. It should be actually quite a bit better. Uh, can we get a supply hub over here, like, right there, maybe? And then go from, like, there to there? Oh, go from here to there? Something like that, maybe? And keep working on a military factory. Mmm, get some radar. There we go. Something like that. Come on, snipe Warsaw off. Snipe, snipe him off. Snipe him, snipe him, snipe him off. I'll take block two. Good. They're doing force defense. Wow. The Poles just... They have a death wish. They just have a massive death wish. Posing. No manpower. No trucks. And they, they are inflicting a lot of casualties on us, but at the same time, they started the war, so... And this has been helping out with the land auction, so I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> Alright, you guys are doing okay over there. Uh, you four, honestly, I'm not sure where to send you, so, actually, you guys can come over here. Come down here. Because we're apparently going to have to hold this line, too. Alright, so start thinking about more naval bombers and stuff, because we're going to need to make quite a few naval bombers. Anti equipment. Oh, they're just pulling the winning. Thank God. Screw those people. Anti-air. A lot more anti-air. There you go, not bad. 
But, oh, a British division? Yeah, kill all the Brits off. How dare you come up here and try to declare war on us? Yeah, collective security is a bad idea now. So that's good. So, um, I hope these guys don't go to war with us. That'd be really bad. I, we can probably tell that the Germans want to kill us off. Let's be real. They want to kill us off. They don't like us. You know what? We probably don't like them that much either, too. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, cavalry is nice and all, but I kind of prefer infantry, so we have no stuff anyways. There you go. Do that anyways, because you can. You guys are hanging out. I kind of don't mind taking the Finns, actually. If we take the Finns, then they'll probably join the Allies. Probably. Great Red Menace. So, I did this when I played as a historical USSR on my live stream at some point. And you guys do that, and you should do okay-ish. Ish. Not bad. You never know they're going to invade, but we'll see. There you go. Um, 16's not bad. Get our guys down there, too. I wish our allies were more so stupid. Anti-fascist policies. Seek a defensive pact with the Allies. While there have been informal contact with the Western democracies, like co Little Concrete, and Little con Legally Binding has been agreed upon. It's time to put ink on paper and declare to the world that the Western democracies are willing to form a combined front with us against a fascist expansion. Well, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Ish. I do want more tank stuff, too, but it's only 1940. Uh, we gotta do nuclear research. Yeah. Get a nuki. Get a little nuki nuki. Uh, go up here first. Let's get that one done first. Get the, both those done first. That'd be good. You need way more planes. Oh my goodness. We just we just need so much. Do that too. Are we really out of guns? Do we not get enough guns? We we're not doing well on guns. We're not doing well on a lot of things here. Uh you want a non aggression pact? That's fine with us. Did at least America join or create its own faction? Please tell me they created their own faction. Oh, why are they in the Why are they in the check on taunt? What? Why are they in the check on taunt? How did you lose Houston? Oh you almost lost Houston, not quite. This makes no sense. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Oh, this world has gone, just gone to crap. Well, at least uh, check out Tot. It's going to be relatively powerful with America and France for now. The exercise is gone. The Central European power is not good either, so. After this, see, see a defensive pact? Um, claims on Bessarabia. Ooh, let's secure Leningrad. Our current border with Finland is uh, far too close to Leningrad for comfort, of course. A surprise attack from Finland could reach the city in a few hours. The location also makes it very easy to blockade our Baltic fleet. This is an unacceptable state of affairs, and we must make this clear to the Finnish government. Uh oh, I've been over here. Oh, that's not good. Are we? What are we importing stuff from? No, nothing. So why, why, why are we putting stuff in the water? I don't understand why. Um, you guys are okay. Go and train if you need to. Uh, these NKVD divisions. Go and convert them back. There you are. There you are. Yeah, these NKVD divisions are what? Not great. There's six combat with military police is not bad. Throw in some engine. Oh, I would have enough support equipment though. Um, twelve combat is fine. You know, I'll convert you guys too. You're kind of like the militia sort of group ish, so go do that. It's fine. Convert you too as well. SA is a little bit honest. We might change it back eventually, but we'll see. So if that's a case. Let's go down to four here. Change some of you guys. A lot of you guys. I'll put you like in the center ish. Where's a good oh, go. This way, you guys can just do that too. Makes it easy on us. Set and forget. Train so you're not terrible. Because we don't trust any of uh, the people around here, which is probably a good thing to do. Oh, crap. Oh, Eastern India. Okay. Well, if you want to build Mongolia too, that's fine with me. Don't really care about that too much. So, with the whole Raj thing here, what we're going to do is just kind of hold out. Oh, supplies are so bad. They're just so bad. Oh my gosh. They're so bad. Back with the allies. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we're missing... Yeah, we're missing that. Secure Leningrad. They agreed... Oh, they agreed to sign a pact. Look at that. The government of France has agreed in principle to propose a pact of mutual assistance. A delegation of diplomats arrived and decided to find the details of the implementation. We stand together. We guarantee each other. Too bad it's a little bit too late, though. Um... The man Eastern Poland... Offer Poland protection. What is this one? Saudi Arabia. That's not bad either. Eradicate Western fascism. Well, it's kind of way late to do that one. Um, anti capitalist policies. We might as well do that one now, yeah. That's evident that most, if not all, capitalist countries are perfectly content with merely pointing the fascists in another direction when they plan their expansion. When given the choice, of course, uh, the bourgeois will always ultimately choose to oppress the proletariat. As such, we cannot trust them. We need to be prepared to take the fight to them. Yeah, that's good. Something else, too. 
And it is, of course, 1940. Grab some of that. A pact of mutual assistance between the Soviet Union and France was signed yesterday in Moscow by diplomats from both countries. This agreement, in part, was a part of the policies of the collective security proposal proposed by the Soviet Union's Commissar for Foreign Affairs, Maxim Litvinov. Under this pact, the Soviet Union and France have pledged to defend each other in the event of aggression by hostile powers. Pretty much. Keep going for more millies. Millies are nice. Alright, so... Uh, greetings to all fighters against fascism. Well, we're not really fighting fascists for now. Heroes forward is not bad. Uh, yield is pretty good to always take, yeah. Yeah. Bring Japanese experts. Production base. Sign an agreement with the major German industrial entities to bring in expert engineers and architects from Germany to act as consulates or consultants for our industrial projects. Not bad. Honestly, what if we increase our relations with America? We could try that. Um, just because we can. So we lost way too many guys against the Poles, but hey, at least we killed off 10,000 uh, uh, British soldiers. It's nice. If anything, I'm probably going to build up uh, industry here. Or infrastructure, I should say. A lot of infrastructure. Actually, you guys are almost done building that railroad, too. That's not bad. Yeah, it kind of sucks over here for you guys. That really sucks for you guys, actually. Uh, military command. Oh, oh, we can't do that one, can we? Oh. Talk of his propaganda would be so nice. But it's okay. I'm mean, anything. Hmm. Incorporate local organizations? Local organizations often have a better understanding of the problems the workers face than the people in the capital. We should de-emphasize the role of ministers and other senior party members and give more power to the locals. Not a bad idea. Not bad at all. Uh, so what are we doing here? Pressure the Soviet government. Yeah. Oh, we can pressure them more. Kick from faction. Huh. Can we improve relations? Yeah, again. Is Communist China still alive? Oh, they are. They're still holding out. Good job, Communist China. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Wait. They're... Mm. Actually, if anything, let's start creating the NKVD. If you think the NKVD is a good name for us, please let me know. If you think it would be something different under Bukharan, well, let me know as well. <sighs> These people, man. These people. Just in case, let's send... Do we have any planes here? No, we don't. Okay, that sucks. We need really... The Russia, the Soviet Union... It's just not really ready for too much here. I mean, we did well. I mean, the only Poles and Lithuanians. That's not the biggest fight in the world. But, still. And the Allies clear war on us, so. My god, Yugoslavia. This is disgusting. What type of sane man would want to see a, a Yugoslavia like that? Oh, this is so bad. So bad. So, secure land again. I want to at least do that by the end of this video. I want to see how well we can do against the, those boys. 90 army XP. It's going to hurt us a little bit, but make us a little chunkier. Um, support artillery, because we'll convert these guys to something else later on, too. Armored recon. Definitely get the logistic boys. That'll be nice. Get some more light. Well, we have no light tanks. Yeah, we have no light tanks. Do it anyways. Um, military police anti air. Hmm, we're kind of okay. Oh! Oh! Italy joined! Oh, it gets. Oh. Okay, then. Well, the fascists of the world have united. Bring American experts. Might as well. Just so, just to say we've done it, and we've done it too, because we can. Oh, pro proposed mineral prospection in Southern Communist China. So if officials... Oh, we're going to read that one. Please go ahead. Yeah, that one. I'll try it. Why not? I forgot about that stuff. I agree. Nice. This opens up new trade opportunities. And that actually helps our, our five-year plan. You need to get rid of that. Montenegro's gone, which... Not that strong, so... Uh, what is a five-year plan? Uh, home of the Revolution, of course. Oh, here's a five-year plan. I mean, percent consumer goods. Not good, but... Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. Oh. Oh, they actually have some ships. Oh, you piece of garbage. Ah, the NKVD. Very good. We really need to start working on that stuff. So, okay, Leningrad. And I'll we'll probably do this one next, just because we can. I think it'll be pretty beneficial for us. So, yeah, overall, not bad. But, I don't know. It could be better. Like, I did not want to go fight the Allies. Why did... I mean... Why, man? Why? And hopefully... I think the Japanese are fighting the Americans, too. But not the Allies. Huh. Yeah. Oh! Come on. Seriously? Turkey? Uh, well, then. Mm. Honestly, hopefully the Germans don't attack us just yet. Let's go there, too. 
you guys are gonna be over here for now. Because it did like seven. There we go. And you guys down here should be all the same. Yeah. Okay. Go and race down the guys if you possibly can. That'd be really, really good. Oh, come on, man. That's so stupid. I'll fill in the demands. The Finnish government has rejected our demands, but this was to be expected. If we want Karelia, we'll have to take it by force. It's time to teach stubborn Finns a lesson they won't forget. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Um, you guys are good to go. Yeah. Let's get it done over with. Actually, look at that supply. Over here is not too bad. Over in the middle sucks really, really badly, but just because this thing's taking forever. Uh, go high, and then keep going with Millie's. 6%. Nice. They're going to join the allies, probably, but that's fine. Ooh, actually, they might... Did they sign the anti-Soviet pact? They might have. They might not have. I'm not entirely sure. So, let's save, and see what we can do. They, okay, they joined the allies. That's fine. As long as they don't join the Germans. That's fine. They reject the Soviet demands. That's fine. Turkey. What? You get the hell out of there. Stupid Turks. Go, tanks, go. You guys force the attack, too. I just want you to go, 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 blitz. If anything, go around here. Be speedy. Come on, take them out. Take them out. They can't pierce you. They literally can't pierce you. Are they still just fine on us? Yeah, that's fine, whatever. You guys just kind of hold it for now. Don't K, don't K, don't K. Actually, I'm going to take this out too. So, do you like resistance, Turkey? You are the aggressors, so I don't know why they did what they did. Uh oh. Western Poland. Oh, hello. I'm glad I looked over here. You guys, supplies not very good right here, but whatever. You guys keep going up. Go up. Go up. Cut them off. Literally just cut them off. Can Phil be? Yes, please. Pakistan join the UK. Bro. Bro. If anything, you should be suffering extreme attrition here. There's no supply through here, probably. Oh my goodness, this world's turning into such a crap show. So this front's going to be pretty much a standstill for quite a while, which is fine, you know, whatever. Um, don't worry about that for now. I don't know what you're doing over there. Hold. And let's see. You know, I get some more logistic stuff. It's fine. Anything else over here get developed and done? Nope. Just hold the line. That's fine. As long as I don't get their oil, our oil, that's all I care about. Take the roads. Actually, doing not terrible up here either. Oh, I let them invade. Hopefully, Germany. What is? Where are the Germans? Are they going to fight us? Or are they going to like come over here? South Africa assumes those responsibilities. It's fine. No one cares. Um, they're all oh, they're fighting the little on top. That's good. For that. That's good to see. How are you losing this badly over here? Hold on. You guys, I need you to come down here immediately. Do we lose a division down here? How do we do that? Oh my goodness. Our allies are so dumb. They should not be able to push us, push our allies out of here. This is this is not this is this is kind of unfair. It's completely unfair. You're suffering like no attrition. Are you kidding me? How much attrition are they suffering? None. <laughs> they should be losing a lot more than that. That's a bit ridiculous in my opinion, which probably has no weight, but whatever. <laughs> Kukov falls ill. You guys have logistics, right? Yeah, you do. I just supplies so bad down here. Up root resistance here. It's fine. How's it so hold on. Come over here. So the oversight's fine. Uh pretty place with that one. It's fine. Go to Helsinki. 
Come on, go, 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 go. Take that railway. Then I'll literally no supplies. Ah, they're attacking us. Good. That's good over there. Over here, this is just a gigantic mess. Cut them off. Kill them off. Stupid Brits. Get out of here. They wanted war. Nice. Good. And this is literally what they wanted, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we can't expand that. That sucks. It's fine. We'll do fine. I'm impressed that the communist Chinese are holding out, though. It's very nice. I can't force the pencil. That sucks. So we cut these guys off. So they should all be starving up here. They literally should be all be starving, but they're not. Makes no sense to me. Because the capital's down here. I'll sink you still. Go here. Yeah, no. There goes Helsinki. Nice. That definitely helps us out with supplies. How are they not for suffering from supply issues? I just don't understand why. Where's the capital of Finland? Is it Vasa? Ah. Makes sense. Incorporate local organizations. Oh, back to the NEP. We'd be Oh, we won't be able to do that one for a long time. God dang it, are you kidding me? Because we do want to talk about this these both as well, for the common good. And strengthen the trade unions. <sighs> Stupid allies. NKVD promise you pretty much. Until we can be sure that all enemies of the state are accounted for, we must continue to rely on the NKVD to protect the revolution. Don't question us here with it. Go there. You piece of garbage. This is so dumb. Why, 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 are we, why can we not find anything here to sink? Makes no sense. Do that, that's fine. Group airplane catapult. Um, it's 40, 1940. Engineers, maybe. How are they not suffering from any supply issues? How are we not sinking anything here, man? Get those subs in here now. No, 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 don't go that direction. Go here. Oh my god. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Kill the Brits off. It's so stupid. Please, just kill the Brits off. How are they not capitulated yet? So stupid. So stupid. They go to war with us, and they want us to die. Like, bro. Seriously, bro. All these guys are learning a lot, though. Are the Turks attacking? They should be. Ah, thank God, Finland's gone. Thank God. All right, sorry for all my complaining too, but this is just kind of kind of dumb the way this has been set up. Oh, hello. Look at that. Oh, they're doing logistics strikes. Seriously? So you're telling me we're gonna need some serious anti-air here then? Oh, we lost. Yeah, there goes a the fleet. I hate the Allies. Seriously. Go home. Let the, let the subs do whatever they need to do. And make sure that you guys do this too. There you go. Just in case. You never know what's going to happen. 24 is not enough. I don't know why you're taking forever. There you go. Go in. Oh, they have, uh, they have supply? Yeah, I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. Bro, just kill them off. That's why we went uh, supply or not supply. We went with. Look at this. Oh, we lost a lot of guys. Huh, that's not good. Um, grand battle plan. That, that helped us out. Ooh, specialization in civilian industry during our large scale industrial modernization. We'll prioritize the upgrade of our civilian heavy and light industry. Ooh, that's not bad. Military production. That's not bad either. Specialization shipbuilding. Well, let's probably do this one. Heroes forward. More weapons. Oil. Da 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 da. Thirty squid a bit. Heroes forwards. Okay. Order 227. Not bad. And actually, for you guys, we want to start focusing a lot more on the sub stuff for you guys. Just chuck torpedoes like crazy, man. Just chuck them as much as you possibly can. Next, start making more naval bombers and stuff like that. Actually, do we have naval bombers here? That'd be really good to have. Strategic bombers, naval bombers. 
Yeah, we have some fighters we could probably throw over here. Oh, we have a lot of planes. Oh, that's my fault. We have a lot of planes in Leningrad. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come over here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Go there. Go right there. Go right there. Tactical bombers go right here. Attack bombers go right there as well. Naval bombers, nice. Two things of naval bombers. Let's go and get started here. Bomb the crap out of them if you can. And strap bombers, well, go here. And do they take anything? I want you to do this. Make sure they can't do anything against us. That'd be nice. My bad. I forgot we had those guys too. Now, I'm going to talk to Japan. Despite tensions between the Japanese and the Soviet Union increasing until recently, the Japanese have now opened negotiations for a non aggression pact. The advantages to us are clear. But what should concern us is the advantages it will to the Japanese whether we, and whether we will live to regret this move. Oh, that's actually really smart for us. It's not bad to have. And what else do we want to do? Ooh. Control Scandinavia? No, we're good. Yeah, I think I read this one, so. Let's do that one. And I won't kill these guys off. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, we're losing subs like crazy, aren't we? But we should have our planes in here, too. So. We should do okay-ish. Yeah, last couple subs. It's fine. Subs are subs. Come on, planes. Where are you? Yeah, the subs are operating a little bit. Nice. Keep going in. Keep going in. I know supply sucks. That's why we're trying to fight for the supply base. <laughs> Take Voss and kill all these allies off. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh. We are starting to hurt them a little bit. Maybe we lost more planes. We lost a couple subs. Oh, they broke our staffers. Oh, no. Hey, we got the supplies in here. Oh, Afghanistan's gone. That's not good. Bro, this sucks. How are they just able to fight? Okay, so I don't understand this at all. I apparently don't understand supply. Because this is stupid. You are suffering... You're not suffering attrition. In mountains... Are you kidding me? Oh, you guys over there. You guys over there, which is fine. You guys over here, too. And I think this is a... Passable terrain, I think? I could be very wrong. Yeah, they need to be suffering way more attrition in flipping Afghanistan than that. But, oh well. Let's see. You guys are all guarding the stuff, which is great. I wish you'd... Had a little bit more for that. You guys have no orders, which is... Ooh, that's not good. I'll get you out of here. Oh! I'll be fighting on this front, too. Um, just in case. I'll put you against the Germans. Yeah, you never know if they're going to actually strike us, so... You guys are fine by yourselves over there. We might try to naval invade. Maybe you'll see. You guys come down to the Germans, too, until this guys are done. And you guys are hanging out down here in a... A good old part of the world. Aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure. Cool! But, I think that's where we're going to end for today. We're going to finish off anti capitalist stuff here. And let's read one more focus to end this little episode. Strength and mobilization plan? Probably. Our biggest military advantage has always been the vastness of our country and the amount of people living in it. But when it comes to getting soldiers to the front, though these two things can work against each other, we have to continuously improve and update our mobilization plans to ensure that in the event of war, we can concentrate our forces quickly. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, look at 37 costs. That's not bad. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will continue pushing forward and hopefully really, really hurt the allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.